Hello everyone and welcome to today's audio log. For today's document, we will be reading SCP-5266 with an object class of Keter and the special containment procedures. Foundation web crawlers are to monitor all video sharing platforms for links with titles consistent with SCP-5266-1 title patterns. For videos tagged by the web crawler, standard digital recursion tests will be made to determine if the links will yield the URL when opened, indicating an SCP-5266-1 instance. Links found to lead to SCP-5266-1 instances will be summarily deleted. Additional media monitoring web crawlers are to search for possible mentions and coverage of SCP-5266 events. Agents will be dispatched to possible cases to confirm the anomaly, and subsequently retrieve SCP-5266-2 instances and administer amnestics. Foundation Personnel Education Course C-32 Hands of the Web has an included portion demonstrating the best response to Foundation personnel targeted by an SCP-5266 event. Personnel will be advised to immediately call for help before seeking out or either contacting or destroying SCP-5266-2 instances. An on-site medical team with a UAD kit and defibrillation gear will be dispatched immediately to the target location where they will either aid in the activation of SCP-5266-2 or attempt to resuscitate the person affected should initial attempts fail. New SCP-5266-1 instances are uploaded on an estimated average of once every two weeks, and each video ranges from 3-4 to four minutes in length. The videos, when played, have no associated upload channel or URL address, and to-date searching for SCP-5266-1 instances has yielded no results. The only known method of initially encountering SCP-5266 is for an instance to spontaneously appear in the viewer's recommendations tab. Only the first occurrence of each individual video can trigger the major anomalous properties of SCP-5266, and videos can be viewed safely and saved after the initial event has concluded. SCP-5266-1 instances are typically titled consistently with internet clickbait, featuring exaggerated descriptions of the contents of the video in all capital letters. Each video is a recording of the previous SCP-5266 event, featuring a single subject suffering the effects of such while accompanied by a song written and performed by American disco group Village People. The video always ends with several seconds of a black screen, with a short series of high-pitched tones and bursts of static playing over it. SCP-5266-1 videos are commonly recorded from any security cameras or other recording devices present on the scene, proven by camera angles and the video quality. The cameras are reverted back to a normal state with no signs of tampering after the event concludes. In the event that an incident occurs in an area without pre-existing cameras, the video appears to be shot from an unknown handheld device by an unknown operator indicated by the swaying of the camera present in the video, along with the faint sound of breathing. It is noted that no victims of SCP-5266 have ever been seen to react to the presence of the camera's operator, and no physical traces have been left behind to date. Research into a potential camera operator POI and further sub-anomalies is pending. Upon entering an SCP-5266-1 video, an as of yet unidentified toxic substance immediately begins entering the viewer's bloodstream through anomalous means, at a rate ensuring that a fatal dose is reached exactly as the video ends. It is known that SCP-5266-1 video instances are unable to be paused, and will continue playing even if no power source is present. In 32% of cases, all exits out of the immediate area will spontaneously lock themselves if possible. Upon the music in the video beginning to play, 4 to 7 instances of SCP-5266-2 instances will manifest in the immediate area, usually hidden from sight or otherwise slightly obstructed. SCP-5266-2 instances are human shrunken heads genetically identical to past or present members of the aforementioned village people, 
SCP-5266-2 instances wear a variety of headpieces, including cowboy hats, police helmets, hard hats, and Native American headdresses. Instances are capable of motion and upon manifesting, will immediately begin to sing along to the song playing in the active SCP-5266-1 video in unison, with instances serving as backup singers or solo singers as necessary. SCP-5266 instances will continue to vocalize until either being damaged or coming into contact with the current target of SCP-5622's effects. In order to halt the effects of an SCP-5266 event, all active instances of SCP-5266-2 must be made to cease vocalizing by either of the aforementioned means. Upon doing so, the toxin will immediately vanish from the subject's body and the heads will lose all anomalous properties aside from origin. At this point, subjects will most likely survive, but it is still possible for them to succumb to the lingering symptoms of the toxin if they have pre-existing health conditions. And now here are a couple instance logs of SCP-5266 in action. Video contents date, May 21st, 2015. Video subject, Officer Mitchell later interviewed in log 5266-38-B along other subjects present. Other persons in the area were later amnesticized. Video title, Big Dude Dances. Is he a hot cop enough? Begin log. Subject is seated behind his desk in PD District 7. A smartphone is being used to watch videos in the left hand as subject consumes a bagel with the right hand. The video is being recorded from the building's security cameras and changes perspective several times. The initial shot is from the camera over the office door. No other persons are present. Two seconds pass after subject can be seen tapping his phone to select the video. The music begins and SCP-5266-2 instances manifest. Two instances can be seen, one on the top of the filing cabinet, behind the subject, and another inside an empty coffee pot left on the opposite counter. What? My headphones crapped out. Come on. Subject removes listening devices from ears and attempts to pause the video, to no avail. They continue to attempt to pause the video several more times, before holding it to the ear to confirm the music is not em emanating from the device. Ten seconds have passed. The hell? SCP-5266-2 Music! Music's my thing! Subject looks up and notices the SCP-5266-2 instance in the coffee pot freezing when they do so. They then slowly reach down to the rocky talkie on their belt, bringing it to their face and begin speaking into it. SCP-5266-2 instances continue singing. Polly, get up here and help me confirm what I am seeing. Pleasure is my game. Pleasure will lead me to my fortune and fame, alright? Subject stands up and slowly approaches the coffee pot, maintaining direct line of sight as he does so. Upon reaching the pot, picking up and inspecting SCP-5266-2 closer, he can be seen to recoil in revulsion, then wobble slightly due to the toxic effects. 35 seconds have passed. But baby, I'll burn you if you're dancing with me. A secondary subject. Henceforth referred to as Subject B enters the office. Initial subject will be referred to as Subject A for the remainder of the log. Subject B. Hey Mitch, what are you ringing me up for? I could barely hear you over the- Subject B notices the SCP-5622 instance in the filing cabinet and screams, before drawing the pistol and firing rapidly at it five times, with the four shot making contact and neutralizing the instance. Startled, Subject A drops the coffee pot, which shatters and neutralizes the subject within. Cause he's a hot cop, hottest in the disco scene, before rushing across the room to another set of desks, following the voice of another SCP-5622-2 instance. People say that I'm a dancing machine. What the hell is this, Mitch? This isn't natural. Christ! Subject B steps back into a waste bucket knocking it over and causing another instance to roll out amidst crumpled papers. 46 seconds have passed. 
because he's a hot cop hottest that you'll ever see. Christ, fuck, there's another one! Subject B stomps on the instance repeatedly, neutralizing it. Polly, don't just wreck them, we gotta keep one of the damn things. See if the feds or somebody knows what it is. I bet you never made a pop as funky as me. Subject A opens several drawers before finding an instance and pulling it out, causing it to cease vocalizing. 68 seconds have passed. Oh hell, I regret touching this. I'm gonna puke in a minute. Boogie, 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 boogie. Get on down. The song's still going. There's more somewhere. Both subjects continue to scour the room until 108 seconds have passed, at which point Subject A collapses due to SCP-5266 events. Mitch! Hey Mitch! Ugh. I, th I think my heart's going... Party! Boogie 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 boogie! Get out of- SHUT IT! Subject B draws their pistol again and fires twice towards a window, presumably firing at a nearby SCP-5266-2 instance. The window can be heard shattering and shards of glass can be seen falling onto the floor. The vocalizing ceases after the instance was presumably destroyed, ending the SCP-5266 event. Subject B can be seen rushing to perform CPR on Subject A before the video ends. End log. Addendum. Subjects A and B were both interviewed after being identified from the video. Days afterwards. Both have... Both had chosen not to reveal the details of the events to others for the stated reason of not wanting to look for a fucking head case, which resulted in them being fired from their positions as a result of causing property destruction and negligent discharges with no given explanation. Post interview, the intact SCP-5266-2 instance was retrieved from Subject A, and both subjects were offered positions and foundation security after showing proficiency in responding to anomalous events and maintaining rational thought during a crisis. Addendum 5266-A6 On August 11, 2016, at 2.07pm, during cross-testing of SCP and SCP at Site-26, a Type E seven-dimensional rift was produced resulting in the manifestation of a Class M terrestrial medical arc entity. Containment of 11 Euclid class objects and 3 Keter class objects was nearly breached by the entity and 27 on-site personnel were memetically compromised when Incident 5266-A6 occurred. Transcript footage taken from on-site security cameras. Begin log. On-site security can be seen following standard hostile intrusion procedure forming a blockade at the end of the hallway. The M-Class entity steps into frame opposite the security team. Security Office Trudeau, Vigil, get behind the barrier. All members of the security team assume positions behind the deployed P-84 anti-kinetics barrier. Entity MA-6 continues approaching with no change in pace. Okay, standard munitions test. It has a head, aim for that. Security personnel open fire with standard armaments. Fire is maintained for 3.7 seconds, during which bullets are seen to subliminate before making contact with the entity. Security offered Manissa. Nothing. Deploying hardline rifle. Get the TD lance ready too. Manessa, Manessa fires at entity MA6. The beam contacts the target above the secondary left eye, where it is reflected back towards the team. The barrier absorbs the impact, but stray phantom condensation damages the surveillance system. Entity MA6. Fertile. Bow. Christ, all except Gunner heads down. How's the charge on the footage is cut off as the security camera sorts out? Footage resumes on on site Office 11. Entity MA6 is seen entering through the doorframe after ripping the door off its hinges. The entity has since grown two additional sense of mandibles and is dragging an unconscious junior researcher holdings behind it with one hand. Entity MA6 Awaken A blue gas can be seen exiting holdings mouth and eyes, and he startles awake. What? G Christ! Christ, what do you want? Entity MA6 Reveal Sculptures Forbidden 
The entity points towards the computer monitor at the office's workstation. The computer in question is primarily used for access to SCP files, for cross-reference to require goal documents. An open YouTube tab can be seen on the screen. What? N no, I can't give you access. The other anom- Obey. Or. In for hazard redacted. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Just don't reveal. Holdings is thrown towards the desk, where he slowly gets to his feet and looks back at the entity. Before placing his hand on the mouse, he begins to close the tab but holds, and can be seen inspecting the screen closer. After a second, he repositions the mouse without closing the YouTube tab and then taps at several keys with no effect before turning back to face entity MA6. Okay, I've, I've got it all ready for you. Just, uh, press this here with your finger. Obedience satisfactory. Holdings moves to the side as the entity approaches the computer and clicks once with the mouse on the SCP-5266-1 instance that he had noticed. The event begins and SCP-5266-2 instances manifest. One instance appears in the water cooler tank adjacent to Holdings. Upon seeing this, grabs a jug and begins running out the door as the music starts. Incantation? Young man! Incorrect. Title is Info Hazard Redacted. There is no need to feel down, I said. Young man! Insolence. Punish. The entity smashes the computer monitor with its forelimbs. The music continues playing, prompting the entity to look around in confusion. Resistance? Audacity. You can stay there, and I'm sure you will find it in many ways to have a good time. A SCP-5266-2 instance rolls out from the lifted lid of a photocopier, dislodged by its own vocalizations, and to the MA6 shrivels to face it, before lunging towards to crush it in anger. 59 seconds have passed since the event began. It's fun to stay in the YMCA, be not. It's fun to stay in the YMCA, hey, hey. The entity continually screams as it overturns the rest of the office, demolishing the room and the SCP-5266-2 instances contained within. 127 seconds total have passed as it finishes rampaging and stands still, breathing heavily from both exertion and the effects of the toxin. It looks around for the source of the music, before noticing the trail of water left behind from the fleeing junior researcher holdings. The security cameras in the office give out to the damage. Footage is resumed from a series of cameras in the site's hallways. Holdings is seen running frantically, clutching the jug to his chest. An angry screech can be heard from a ways behind holdings. Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, it's coming. Will you shut up? YMCA, they have everything for your men to enjoy. Furious screaming in an unknown language. Holdings continues running and turns a corner, still trailing water. Entity MA6 enters the frame and skids into a wall as a mortar functions begin to atrophy. Failing to make the turn, Holdings screams and increases speed and the SCP-8266-2 instance continues vocalizing. After several seconds, Entity MA6 attempts to stand up before slipping in the puddles, screaming again, before successfully before successfully righting itself and resuming pursuit. Holdings now further away can be seen frantically attempting to open the site's territory safe room. 168 total seconds have elapsed. Come on, come on, open you damn thing! That's when someone came to me and and the MA6 rounds the corner as the armored doors open and Holdings ducks inside with the jug. Closing the doors behind him, the entity charges and begins clawing at the doors, beginning to visibly damage them. No, no, please, just a little longer. At this time, security officer Manissa slowly limps into frame with her left arm missing below the elbow and dragging a prototype TD lance behind them. Entity MA6 has created a large gap in the armored doors and has begun to reach inside. Hey, fucker. Entity MA6 turns to face Manissa. Remember me? 
Manessa fires the lance, impacting the entity and causing a large plume of smoke to obstruct it from sight. After several seconds pass, the entity staggers out of the cloud and begins to step towards Manessa, but instead collapses to the ground as the SCP-8266-2 instance fades out its singing and the event concludes. Oh, uh, Manessa, y you're alive! Just got give me some morphine! And log. The body of Entity MA6 was recovered and reclassified accordingly. 34 days later, a SCP-8266-1 instance corresponding to the incident was found, titled, Prince of the Third Abyssal Ring Gets Pwned, Fourth Tagag vs. Village People, 